guys just here with another video if you're new you're welcome if you're returning welcome back i'm sure you guys can tell by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys my top favorite bronzer that i know it's perfect for women of color starting from my um skin tone to a darker melanin skin tone i love these bronzers equally i'm not picking from my favorite to my list i'm just gonna be randomly picking it doesn't matter they all do different jobs so make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's jump right into the video okay so first bronzer i'll be sharing with you guys is the anastasia beverly hills bronzer this bronzer has been out for a while i know this bronzer came out in 2018 because i did a whole review on this bronzer and this is in shade mahogany i love this bronzer so much i was obsessed with this bronzer i've actually been using this bronzer way before i got this other bronzer that's in front of me so it's been my OG love it i know jackiana also loves this bronzer and she's way darker than me really nice really creamy this is what it looks like most of this bronzer looks so light on camera, but in person, they're not that light. If they show up on me, they're not that light, okay? I just want you guys to know that. So I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Really creamy, really buttery. Love it. Just going to swatch it here. So smooth. This is what it looks like. If you guys can see that it's not too warm it's not too red it's just right there in the middle which is perfect because you know as much as we want bronzer to bronze us up give us that sun kissed look you know that warmth look you know you don't want too much of a red undertone that's just gonna look red on your face so I really like this bronzer it's really 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 nice so the other bronzer I'm going to be showing you guys is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I have two, the two darkest shade in Mocha Mami and in Coco Natty. Now I feel like they need to come out with more shades <laughs> of this bronzer because this two bronzers are the darkest shade and I feel like there's a shade missing in the middle. I'll show you guys what I mean. This is Coco Natty. Coco Natty is way, 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 way light. The only time I'll use this bronzer is if I'm doing... Uh, makeup to no makeup look or I'm just not really wearing much makeup or if I don't want much of a bronzer I will use this because it's really light it shows up on me but it's just light I will want it to warm me up more than what I get from this bronzer I use this bronzer to contour my nose because I don't like a really dark bronzer on my nose so what I use for my face is not what I use for my nose, depending on the bronzer and the shade and the undertone. It's really nice though, really buttery. Let's swatch it. It's definitely not as buttery as the Anastasia one. I'm going to show you the other one. This is Coconati, which is the darkest shade. This is what it looks like. You guys can see this has that more of a red undertone compared to this. You guys see that? A big jump. There's definitely a shade in the middle missing. This is a whole big jump. But all in all, I enjoy them. I love them. I'm going to swatch Mokomami for you guys. Okay. So, this is it. So I don't know. I hope you guys can see this. So Mocha Mami is the one under Coconati. The lightest shade is the middle one. And this is Mahogany on top. As you guys can see, um, Mocha Mami, I believe that's the name. Yeah, Mocha Mami is a little rather, is that a word? It's, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> it has a red undertone compared to the Anastasia Mahogany. I love them. Like I said earlier, they all get the job done and they all have their purpose. They all give you different results. So, I mean, different brand, different bronzers. So, next bronze I'm going to be showing you guys is the Murphy Glam Bronzer Face and Body Bronzer. So, this is the first one they came out with last summer. I first saw it when it first came out from Ulta. And when I went back to Ulta, it was sold the fuck out okay it went by quick i mean i think they even stopped selling it in store 
it was just online so when i went to cali last summer i was able to get it from the mall that's where i got this bronze i was so happy they have a um what is it called the murphy store i believe the name of the mall is Wearfair. i can't remember but yeah it's a mall so i was able to pick this up i was so happy the packaging is definitely the same the only thing is just this has pink the gold detail everything the lines it's still the same it's just pink black gorgeous so this is phenom phenom it's kind of similar to the fenty coco naughty but i believe phenom is a little darker i actually love this i use this more than i use this i can definitely pull this off like even if i really want want that bronze um glow i can still use this it's just not as deep as pigmented as the rest of the bronzer i really do love this i use this a lot on my nose i use it on my face i use this like mainly when i have a soft makeup on like i'm not doing too much i just want something really soft and subtle i'll use this so now let's compare it with this this one is called leader this is a little warmer and a little darker than phenom and as you guys can see the phenom has lines and this doesn't so that's the only difference inside let's swatch so i'm gonna be swatching phenom first so soft and powdery oh by the way i have phenom no not phenom leader on my face today so gorgeous so this is phenom yeah phenom is very similar to the so phenom i'm gonna do leader for you guys too oh shoot i literally just put phenom on top of leader oh my goodness okay i have to do this again so i don't know if you guys can see like my swatches are so weird this is leader right here and the one on top of leader is phenom leader is definitely more darker and more warm red undertone than this they're all warm okay but it's just darker if you guys get what i'm trying to say i love this this are really really bomb if you guys haven't tried any of this you definitely need to pick this up they're very inexpensive i believe they're 19 dollars and the anastasia one i believe 25 29 dollars and the fancy one is 32 dollars don't quote me i might be wrong so next bronzer is the hula toasted benefit bronzer oh my god this bronzer is pigmented read my lips pigmented like i get scared using this bronzer that's how pigmented it is i don't even use it like that you guys the only time i'll use it is if i really want that sun kiss that bronze look and even when i do use it a little goes a long way it's so pigmented like it shows up on your skin like that so the first time i use this i just bought it i didn't know you know what to expect so i just dipped my brush inside and put it on my face and i was like whoa like it was all over my cheek i had to blend and blend to like share it out it is pigmented i love this bronzer but you have to be really light-handed with this um bronzer it looks light inside the pan but don't be fooled it's not light this stuff is not light i feel like it's even darker than the rest of my bronzer to be honest because when i put it on my face it's it's pretty dark so we're good just gonna i love the packaging like it's just so different and unique like so small i know they have the bigger size one too so let's swatch this is it <laughs> my swatches are bad okay i can't swatch but this is what it looks like i like it though it's just really pigmented lastly it's the new bronzer i actually got this bronzer sometimes last month yeah 
it's called Vasca. I actually talked about this in my last video that I uploaded, my um, Pat McGrath video that I did. I showed you guys this bronzer. That was the first time I used it. And I absolutely love this bronzer. I love the packaging. It's white. It's definitely different from the rest of the bronzer that I showed you guys. The only thing is just, it's white packaging. It gets dirty, dirty easily. I don't know if you guys can see that. As much as I wipe it off, the stain is still there. It's white, you know what I mean? I would love this if it's in a different color, but I still love the white, okay? Let's just be real. I still love the white. I got the shade Maldive. I was actually, I told you guys in that video, if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. I was actually going to get Cabo because Cabo is more red warm undertone because I tend to lean to red warm undertone because they look good on my skin. But I was like, you know what, all my bronzers are red, warm undertone. Let me try this neutral undertone. This has neutral undertone. And you guys, I'm absolutely in love. It looks good on my face. It gives me that warm, bronzy, sun-kissed look. You guys saw that video. Like, it just looks like I'm on a beach, basically. You know, that, oof, it looks really good. Only problem that I have. With this bronzer it, it has a lot of kickback a lot of fallout on like this other bronzer that i showed you guys but apart from it it's really 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 nice let's swatch it oh oh my god it's so buttery i feel like this is the most buttery one out of everything and oh it smells good it smells amazing it smells like coconut do you guys see what i mean like it has Oh, it feels so good. It feels like powder. No, I touch baby powder. That's what it feels like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It has a lot of kickback, even on my skin. Oh, yeah. It feels really good, though. This is it right here. I hope you guys can see it. So, that is it. And yeah, guys, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, comment down. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like any of this bronzer? Have you tried any of this bronzer? Make sure you comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, loves.